COVID booster shots are now available for a select group of people. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. Glad you could join us tonight. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman is live for us tonight after finding out who can get them and who should be, uh, who should be getting them. Bridget. Yeah, Rod, Pfizer is the first of the three vaccines to get that green light for the booster shot. But doctors say that Moderna and Johnson & Johnson aren't far behind. WakeMed kicked off the week by opening COVID booster clinics. They're doing shots by appointment only. About half of the 2,200 appointments are taken so far. A 65 plus, um, that's where we're seeing more of our vaccine breakthroughs in our hospitalized patients. Those 65 and older who got their Pfizer vaccine more than six months ago are now up to get their booster shot. We know those older adults just tend to have quicker loss of immunity. That's true not just for COVID, that's true for flu vaccines, that's true for pneumonia vaccines. People in high-risk jobs like Dr. Cameron Wolf are also now eligible for their Pfizer booster if it's been at least six months since their first shots. That's because there's risk of original doses losing effect over time. Healthcare workers were some of the first folks to be able to receive the vaccines when they first rolled out. And many of them are nine months out, right around that time frame out from getting those initial vaccine series. More groups are expected to be able to get their booster soon. Look, it's right now that we have a lot of Delta variants still. And, you know, if I can get someone that extra little bit of protection before the winter months come or before there's any chance of that resurging, then I think now's the right time. Moderna and Johnson & Johnson are also expected to have upcoming booster news. But be patient. Uh, the data on those two vaccines and their need uh, and timing to boost is coming. And not only are they encouraging those who are eligible for the booster to get it, but they're still pushing for people who are unvaccinated to get their shots. Just at WakeMed, they said they said around 90% of those hospitalized COVID patients right now are unvaccinated people. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. All right, Bridget, thanks for that live report. So if you are eligible, where can you get